and Kai Chair just playing with toys whilst we were washing up like the rest of the bottles and things. But yeah, off we go. We have arrived at the car park. We are just heading up the ramps. Um, we are doing the valet parking. Mm -hmm. The valet parking is a lot easier with a baby just for someone to take it all off us rather than us get on a bus and have to manage it all. Level two. Yeah, level two. Let's go get that breakfast. <laughs> we are through security. Hey Russell. Russell's occupied with his toy. I'm here with my coffee. I have no idea if you can hear us. We're filming on the phone just because it's a bit easier. When we get to Orlando, it'll be on the camera. I thought I'd mention security was easy. Ish. Easy enough. Easy ish. We had to have everything tested because of Russell's milk and things. So I had to do like second screenings. But we got through and now we're going to have some breakfast. Ready to go, Russell? Are you ready to go? Are you ready to go to Florida? This little man's been an absolute angel. Yeah, he's just napped for about 40 minutes and... Yeah, our plan for snooze shape work. Yeah, and we got a little first polo we can look at Russell's little face. <laughs> yeah, you ready to go to our I'm so ready. Mears Connect to the hotel, which used to be the Disney Magical Express, but got privatised when they yeah, stopped running it. So we're going to see how it is now. Very rosy cheeked from teething, bless him. And but very tired. He's very tired, but he's still got a smile on his face, haven't you? <laughs> I think he's just excited to be able to do this and roll round because obviously he couldn't on the plane. The alligator by rooms. Chris was hoping for Magnolia Bend, but it's actually not as bad as the YouTube Is video. That table, I don't like. He the doesn't table. like the table. <laughs> I, don't... I don't like the table. But Russell. so yeah, alligator by you. You've got some lanterns over two beds, which is incredible. Um, you can notice like the little crowns here from Princess and the Frog. Only and... central bedside table. Yes, there's only one bedside table. So whoever is sleeping on the outsides, you will have to deal. Which I wonder who that will be. This is cool. It's got like a hidden Mickey in the key. So yeah, it's like storage containers. And they just spoke to us about this Hey Disney function. We need to say Hey Disney can you get us a crib and they'll bring a crib because we've had to move rooms as they had us on the second floor. But we needed to be on the first floor for Russell, so they did that. This is another bed. You pull it down. Oh my gosh, it comes down a lot faster than one of Riviera. And you got Lewis. And then you got Tiana, Naveen and Ray just there. 
So there, the drawers for clothes. Not as much room as you would usually get no. in a Disney hotel. May I Not add? At all. I'm guessing this is a little fridge. fridge. We got a coffee station with Joffrey's coffee, and we got some water and ice. Double sink. Big mirror, and my faves, the <laughs> movable mirror. And then the bathroom, so you've got shower and bath, and then you got Ray on the shower curtain. What a cutie, and me, hello. But I think we're gonna get the crib sent to us. We're yes. gonna get on some weather appropriate clothes, yeah. and we're gonna try and head to Springs. Well, let's discuss that. Hi. It's We've... been a half an hour. After you just saw the very happy clips of Russell, we had the meltdown. The big, big meltdown that we knew was going to come at some point today. Bless him. We're still debating if we're doing spring. Or yes, not. we are heading to the front of the resort to, what was it, do our resort. Cups. We're doing our resort cups now? Or we're doing that later? Or we're doing it now whilst he's asleep. Up to you. We are debating whether we're going to go to Springs or not, um, just because of how Russell is. He is asleep now, um, but yeah, we're just playing it by ear. Very, very. Bridge. Can you see the bridge now? Bridge. Bridge. Um, yeah, we're just playing it by ear. I wish we were in Magnolia Bend. <laughs> I don't think I live either ground for them. Yeah, Chris, mm. is with, Chris wishes we were in Magnolia Bend. But I'm guessing they're considered premium over. Don't know. I do not know. But yeah, we're gonna head to the main entrance. Maybe pick up our resort mugs. Maybe go to Blaze. Who knows? Blaze tradition has truly ended. No. Pause. Pause. <laughs> so maybe tomorrow. I got the grilled chicken sandwich, and Chris got a bar barbecue burger. Bacon cheeseburger. Bacon cheeseburger. Russell is still asleep, bless him. He's shattered. I think we made the right decision. We got our resort mugs. This shop is so cool, isn't it? It's There's actually no a shop. really good yeah. shop. This spirit jersey for kids, but. Love it. It's munchlings. Oh no, they've got the Emile croissant. I. <laughs> I've got an obsession over this Emile croissant and I'm not entirely sure why. Russell is up. This has been an evening. This has been an evening. He's up. He's just down here chilling. Um, and we're heading back to the room. We've just washed all his bottles, sterilised them all. A little bit of a rundown on how we're going to vlog this time. It's probably going to be a bit different to what we're used to. You've already noticed we're on our phones. That's partly been travel day. Partly it's just a lot more convenient. With a baby. We'll probably mix it up, but the quality is worse, I'm sorry. We're also not going to be like necessarily vlogging absolutely everything. Um, There'll God. be some moments we need to <laughs> yeah. be parents. We are going to head back to the room now. I think Chris is going to have a shower. I'm probably going to have a shower. We didn't get to do it earlier because a cast member helped us in. But go on Chris. Nikki to Nikki. Here we come. Our room is a mess obviously because we just rushed and got some clothes out for everyone. We are gonna get Russell sorted for bed and head to bed ourselves. Also did I show you the Brassett family called as you well today earlier? Also they say they still have H2O. And they still have H2O in our room. Shower products. And we've got Disney today. Disney today? Is that what's hey Disney? Hey Disney. Don't worry. Sorry, I don't know that. Okay. But yeah, we're gonna get this little man to bed and get ready for an early breakfast at Crystal Palace. Good morning, good morning, good morning. We have left the room after a very stressful morning. Um, he woke up at half five. He is teething at the moment, bless him. So he's just been, you can't really not entertain him. Obviously you have to entertain a baby anyway, but like we're trying to get dressed and he's teething and he wants a teether and then he drops a teether and you're constantly running back and forth. But it's fine. And there are no, there is absolutely no storage in our room. Yeah, there's no storage in our room whatsoever. So we are living out of suitcases. There's three small drawers. Um, so that just makes it even more chaotic because I'm trying to get dressed. Chris, Chris, I'm trying to get dressed. 
Chris is trying to get dressed, trying to get Russell dressed, trying to get a spare outfit for Russell and it's just, it's just not working. So I would not suggest Portaline Riverside Alligator Bayou rooms if you are no more than two people. Um, I don't know why they've got a fifth sleeper in that room. No. You can't fit that There's many three people. Drawers. Three There's drawers, three small people. square drawers and that is it. But yeah, so I, I guess the idea is people living in sleep suitcases. But yes. That's one of the nice things about having a home resort kind For of thing. 14 days or 10 nights. Yeah. So. But yeah, so we are off to get our resort mugs filled and just sort Russell's first bottle of the day. We missed the Tron virtual queue just because we were leaving at bang on seven and we just went oh virtual queue for tron so we just missed that but it's all good we are going to go sort the resort mug sort russell's second bottle of the day and then we're going to go to magic kingdom for our breakfast with winnie the pooh and friends so this is boatwright's dining hall which is like a sit down service here at port orleans riverside um we're not booked into here but it was quite busy last night. This is the main entrance. And then there's like a bar there. And then the shop is in there. So bell services are just outside here. And you can grab things. Chris is just showing Russell all the different characters. Russell's like, let me grab it, please. Russell's very, very grabby grabby at the moment, bless him. He's just discovered he can hold things. Um, but yeah, Russ, first time entering Magic Kingdom and he's fast asleep. I'm just gonna show you the Halloween stuff as it is. We got the wrong bus, long story short, and then we had to get a bus to the Grand Flow, get the monorail to the Magic Kingdom, and we are late for our dining reservation. Fast asleep. <laughs> Before we forget and we tuck in, this is my food. Harriet's just gone to get hers because we've got to stay with the sleeping little guy. I went for uh, Mickey waffles, which are the cinnamon Mickey waffles, some chicken. A cinnamon roll, which I'm already talking to, and a couple of sausages, just a little starter, an odd accompaniment. If you've watched any of our cruise line vlogs, you'll know I like to just grab things. It's not necessarily a good a collection of food. So I've now got my food. So I've got Mickey waffles, pastry, blueberry pancakes, fr chocolate chip French toast, and a Mickey churro waffle as well. Good? Good. Hello, Eeyore. How are you? Are you like my ears? Little poo bear ears. <laughs> they should make some Eeyore ones, shouldn't they? That make you a bit happier? Oh yeah, I'd walk around holding them like this. <laughs> Try and fly at Dumbo with them. <laughs> yeah. Would you be able to sign this for us? Round two. What have you got? Chicken, Mickey churro and sausage again. They've updated the menu quite a bit since we were last here, which I get. But they've taken away like basics like roast or like cooked potatoes and stuff like that. So it's a, I don't think the menu's as good anymore. Hi Piglet! You doing well today? Are you helping Pooh Bear find some honey? Yeah, do you like honey? Or is it just Pooh Bear? Ish? I mean, Winnie doesn't... Like... Yeah, I bet he doesn't let you have any. Hey Russell! <gasps> you are left your house soft. Oh, good. So here is the baby care centre and we're off to go change this little guy and clear up Chris's bag a little bit. So we're going to Many Adventures of Winnie the Pooh right now, 25 minute wait. We just popped to the baby care centre, which we didn't, I don't think we filmed any of the baby care centre. No, because there's other babies in there. Yeah. It's getting crowded. 
Saturday. It's a Saturday, it is, isn't it? So just in Winnie the Pooh, the time is 10.15 and it's supposed to be a 25 minute queue. This is Wow. It's Wish Pooh. He'll never reach that dream. Why me? Why me? Oh dear. Hang on tightly, Roo. Oh dear. <laughs> Don't bounce with me. Watch out for the form of the noodles. They feel hungry. Well, you've done the ride. So it's now 10.45, so half an hour. I'm it's out and done the ride. So about right. Yeah, it has right. also just shot up to a 45 minute queue. Oh, shit. And I think we're going to go and try and do the teacups now. Yeah. Um, which she said was a. It says 15 minutes. 15 minute wait for teacups, which would be fun. But I'm not going to be allowed to do my spinning that I usually do. That's probably a bit much for Russell. So we're just going to have a nice easy one, aren't we, on it? Yeah, I think I think we test him and see how he is on them, and then maybe one we can do a bit of spinning. We can ramp it up. We're in an hour. Like a minute ride. So many parrots or Winnie or Pixar World. Oh, he has no idea what's going to happen. Um, we were going to do a meet and greet, but the queue was 35 minutes and Russell was getting a bit tired, so we're not going to for now. We're just going to look around the shop. We've popped. Russell in his snooze shade. We'll update on that in a bit. Oh, thank you very thank you. much. A little treat. Why not? He knows how to cheer someone up. Yeah. Did you hear us saying it's been a day? You know us, we love our pins. Just having a little look. These are quite cool. I love that. Donald hugging his nephews. That's cute. And angry Donald. You don't like Angry Donald, I know. This is the new Encanto area where you can meet Mirabelle. That's pretty cool. It looks really busy. Obviously Mirabelle's new, so she's popular, but yeah. So an update on our luck today. We struggled to get ready, but I did. We got a bus to the wrong park, managed to make our way here. We did get our reservation, albeit late. And then somehow the camera lens, like overlay thing, checks the lens, has got a crack. Harriet's then lost her magic band. It's been a day. It's also very warm right now. Russell's having a nap in his snooze shade, which I think I've said already. But on the plus side, some class member had made too much popcorn, so gave us some. Pixie nice dust. little win there, little pixie dust. Pixie dust. Looks like people are getting ready for parade. I don't think we're going to stick around for parade today. No. Um, but we're going to walk through some of the main street shops and see if there's any we fancy. When you lose your magic band, you can report it as lost on the app and then you'll get pinged if it's found. So I've done that, but I'm going to go check the city hall just in case it's been handed in there anyway. Yeah. And I mean, there is no motivation for someone not to hand it in because it's like registered Harriet's account. It's not easy to just change who's owning it. It's also a bit worn, to say the least, isn't it? <laughs> We're about to go do something very fun. Something I've wanted to do for since we booked, since we found out we were bringing Russell. I've wanted to do this. And we're gonna go do it. Snow White is currently meeting just outside the theatre and we're coming in here to see if we can get an embroidered hat. Hello from Riverside again. So we've just had a quick rest in the room, a reset. We're currently on our way down to kind of the, the main restaurant and quick service and shop. Um, going to have a quick check of the pool because we might take Russell here. Might take him to like the, the, the quite local one or just, we'll see. The local. The local one, you know, the local pool. But we're going to do what? a. 
Asked to see if we can get Harriet a new um, card so she can get into the parks and the room. Um, obviously, she lost her magic band. We did pop to see Lost and Stolen. They said Lost sometime. And stolen, Lost, and Lost and Found. Why do I say Lost and Found? Um, and they, yeah, they they said quite a lot of it will come at the end of the day. Um, but because it's connected to Harriet and she's also reported it lost, um, if they find it, they'll they'll ping us. Um, so we're going to get you a card. We're going to do some yeah. pin trading. Also, it's no biggie that it is lost because I was going to get a magic band pass anyway, and the paint, the like de decal, decal. That's not a good word for it. Decal was peeling off anyway. Yeah. So like it, you know, it's annoying because. I like to keep things like that, but... Hoarder! <laughs> no, you're but, not. You're far from. But I was planning to get a new one anyway, so... Is that the splash pad? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it looks like it, Yeah, so we're going to go get our resort mug topped up. Yeah. Pop um, into the shop. Pop to the shop, do some pin trading, get me a card. Um, yeah, that's all that's really going on. Our plan for today is maybe like just chill around here the afternoon happily ever after is at 8 30 i believe so we might head back into the parks for like seven ish well depending on how rough it is do you want to go to disney springs if we don't i don't parks. know yeah no uh, i don't know i think i'd rather we will see give him some chill time yeah we'll see how he is he's doing pretty well right now he's just having a look around so in his brain, but yeah. We've got the snoo shade on. I will just say the snoo shade is an absolute godsend. We've already had quite a few people see it and go, oh my god. They've been like, ooh, snoo? It's like, it's literally just like a mesh thing that you throw over the, the stroller, the pram. Um, and ours, we've gone for the deluxe. The deluxe. Okay. But it means if we, if we want to put them down for a nap during the day, we just kind of seal it up. It makes him a nice, dark, kind of actually quite cool environment as well. Yeah. So he's. I mean, earlier he slept a whole hour. Yeah, and some. And a bit while we were just walking around the park, which you'd have thought a five month in old in the noise, in the heat, would nope. be pretty difficult, but he did really well. So we're just looking for any little nice snackies. Oh, they do a cinnamon roll. Oh, God. Nothing beats a Disney cinnamon roll, it's got to be said. We've got chocolate dome cake. How's the cookie? So we are just having some chill time in the restaurant. We're just sterilizing Russell's bottles. He is more interested in the fan than these keys. Um, <laughs> obviously, they always want what they can't have and what's not theirs. I mean, this is his, but not for chewing purposes. I think I mentioned these yesterday. These toy catchers are a godsend, especially for when babies learn how to chuck toys off of things um, but yeah we're just waiting for the bottles to be sterilized and then we're gonna go to the shop I think Russell is due another nap but he seems quite awake right now so just gonna play it by ear and when he gets fussy gonna put him down for a nap <laughs> for you we have a discount well, okay beautiful <laughs> Yes, so we're just gonna head back to our room now. Ariel is meeting over there, but she stopped and met us in the lobby, which was pretty cute. So there's the boat that will take you to Springs. That's where you get it from. I remember from. It only operates certain hours. No, operates, operates, operates all day. There's one just coming in. Spare boat, maybe. Spare boat. From preparing or, or for. Preparing for a busy evening. Yeah. Oh, happy ever after. I mean, manic tonight. Yeah. Um, this resort is very, very pretty. It is. The, it is very I, pretty. I agree the resort is a moderate resort. Like, it feels premium and nice. I'd even say it actually feels like kind of a... Uh, what's the word? Deluxe. Deluxe resort. So, Russell is down for a nap, hopefully, in there. He is. He is? He's down for a nap. There we go. So, we're going to pop him in. Go direct back? Yeah. We're going to pop him into his cot, hopefully, successfully. And then we are going to... Lay down for us ourselves a bit, maybe. There's, there's the boat. Um, yeah, we're going to maybe lay down for ourselves, try and do some sorting quietly. I've got my key card. Um, like I said, I'm going to hopefully get a magic band pass tonight. So, tonight or when we're in Springs tomorrow. Because I realise tomorrow we've actually got Cirque du Soleil booked. 
we do. So yeah, touch and go on how Russell is if we do that. We said from the outset, today was a bit of like a trial day, like learn how to. Oh, and it has tried us. It's been a trial, <laughs> it has been a trial by combat. But we're um, good. Yeah, we're still smiling. We're still smiling, we're but still in Disney. Like what, what we did is as we unpacked the bags from this morning, we kind of did a sense check of what have we used, what, what have we not thought about using, etc. One of the things while we were in the park, we were saying would have been really useful is um, the baby carrier, like the chest. I call it a chest mount. It's the definitely not mount. a chest mount. I call it a chest mount as well. Um, just because that means like when we've got to take him out of the pram for a queue for the ride, we're not having to hold him in our arms. And he does get a bit fussy when in our arms for a long period of time. Probably because it's quite warm. It's not probably the most comfortable for him. Well, actually, he just loves being in the, the carrier and you can face him outward so he can see the world or you can face him us. Um, you, I think he also gets fussy because we're having to adjust him. Yeah. Like... Yeah, because our, our arms can't just keep him. Yeah. And you get, when I've looked at, like, the baby care centres, no one's mentioned they have washing up. I, I thought this washing was... Washing liquid, like, sorry. Good to know. But the Magic Kingdom one did today, so I actually could have washed his bottles there mm -hmm. so we could actually just take two take two and if we need another and when we're like changing him yeah clean them up sterilize them and go um which is really good to know hello again so we are just gonna go to springs now we're gonna get some dinner and then we're gonna get the bus to contemporary watch the fireworks you do grab his ear defenders i grabbed his ear defenders yeah we're gonna might do some rides might not depends on him we've decided right now Cirque du Soleil is a, a no-go no -go tomorrow. Just because it's what? It's a two-hour show approximately or something like that. An hour and a half. Hour and a half show. But it means he wouldn't be in the pram for that time. He'd be on our laps. That's quite a long time for him to be on our laps for both us and him. Um, yeah, I don't... It was free. Yeah. It, yeah. yeah, it was one of the ones where it was part of the, the offer with our room to get it. So... I don't feel like we're really losing out. No. I imagine we'll probably see it and think it was cool. Yeah. But not life changing. Yeah. We're just going to have a chilled. Chilled day. Epcot, Epcot day. Epcot day. Nice. Russell's first boat ride. And the straps are nice and chewy. They are. Nom 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 nom. That was more nice and chewy. Perfect. Tell me your baby's chewing without telling me. Your, tell me your baby's chewing. chewing? Teething. Here we are, entering Disney Springs. For our second, first night of the trip. <laughs> you enter in Marketplace, by the way, where I'm pretty sure you go through security, the Marketplace. So, Springs now, um, Blaze now bring you your pizza. When did this start happening? Were we not here in December? We came in December to here. And this, this was not happening. Also, um, like, our cards weren't working, like our Monzo cards, my Santander card, Santander card worked, which is obviously going to charge me, but our cards kept being declined. And they said an international guest tried earlier as well. Um, and it was the same for them. So I'm not sure what's happened there. They did say it's a new system, so no idea what's going on. But yeah, Blaze now bring you a pizza. And that takes the stress of having to wait up there and they shout at you. I got meatballs, chicken, bacon, with some oregano. Harriet got, what was it? Chicken, olives, olives peppers, and mushrooms. Nice. And our Coca Cola. We have come to the poly. The contemporary bus took too long. <laughs> so we are coming to the poly. We're going to go into the shop and we're going to do some pin trading, I think. We're going to go to this shop and then we'll get the lift and we'll go up and see if we can do any pin trades. <laughs> You 
you're never going to believe what just phrase, happened. it never rains, it pours, <laughs> is very true of today. So we were on the bus, and you know what the, day, the day we've had? Yeah. The day we have had, it has been, it has been top of less, Russell. The day we've had is, it's been tiring. It's been stressful. It's been pack your bags and go. It's been, we're testing you to the max. We got on the bus and we were like, no, we got to the way out, we got to the bus station and we ended up having to get on the second bus because a couple decided they didn't want to get on that bus because they wanted to wait for the second ones. So they made us all wait for the Before that in happily ever after, um, some lady was so impatient to leave. She just came up to me and said, I'm moving your stroller so I can get my stroller out. Brilliant. Thank you so much. Uh, the thing is, happily ever after hadn't even finished. No. Tink hadn't even flown out of the castle. But we were on the bus, the second bus, because of the couple who decided they didn't want to get that bus because there was there was room, but not enough room for their double stroller. So we all had to then wait, which is fine because we got a seat. But the lights suddenly came on. It's just as we got onto like the main road as we leave Magic Kingdom. No one's saying anything. And then all of a sudden we get told there's a flat tire. So then we had to get a bus to come and rescue us, which only took like 10 minutes, which is, is fine. But still, the luck we've had today. So we are gonna go now. We're gonna set Russell up, oh, he's just woken up. There he is. He did so well. He's you did so, well. so well. Oh, bless him. Right. We're gonna go feed Russell. We're gonna get him ready for bed. And we're gonna go if you've liked this video, and I don't know why you would have, maybe you like seeing us be tortured. <laughs> Come Don't back forget next. to comment, like, subscribe. <laughs> and come back for the next one. Hey, Russell. Yeah. yeah. Have some milk and go to bed. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Bye. Bye. Uh, so I just popped out. Um, so yeah, I was, 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 I think I said we said in the vlog. I was going to just get ready, Russell ready for bed. And I, yeah, I was going to quickly um, just pop the shot and do some pin training. We'll see if we could. And I'll fill up our bottles. Um, which I did. And I managed to get... Oh, it's way too dark to see. Here we go. A cute little Pluto pin. Really nice Donald pin. I think Harriet will be pretty happy. Um, anyway, yeah. End of the scene. Thank you for watching. Good night.